High above the prairies of western Kansas, it looks peaceful. Just outside of Scott City, the iconic monument rocks, standing tall in the setting sun. But just below the soil lies something sinister. See all the teeth there? Over 80 million years ago, scientists say these fields were underwater. A sea swarming with prehistoric aquatic creatures that had large teeth and a larger appetite. Because everything out here had teeth. So, you know, it was a feeding frenzy. Today, all that's left are their fossils, and in this rural part of the state, the people who hunt for them. Barbara Shelton and her husband Chuck Bonner own the Keystone Gallery. This once abandoned turn of the century church is now filled with art and fossils the couple have found. It would be really nasty to run across one of those. Chuck has been collecting fossils in Kansas ever since he was little. Searching for the 80 million year old remains became something of a family pastime. For us to go on a picnic was to go fossil hunting. It was basically embedded in Chuck's DNA to hunt for fossils. Barbara, not so much. The pair met in college. I'm a political science major with a minor in economics, far flung from paleontology. But really, I think I, I kind of got her involved in it. And she's been a really good, uh, she's found some really nice fossils. After a few outings looking for fossils, Barbara was hooked. Now they work together, running the gallery and discovering fossils, like this large mosasaur hanging on the wall. Well, it's hard to take a picture of this because it's so long. What I find so amazing is every fossil in this gallery wasn't only found here in northwest Kansas, but it was found within 30 miles of where this shop is located. You know, normally I'll, I'll take a toothbrush and I'll just kind of go like that and uh, clean it up. Time moves slowly at the gallery. You know what? I don't really punch into a time clock. Each fossil on display like a piece of art, waiting 80 million years for its big reveal. So we take our time, and that's part of the fossil deal, is taking your time. That's a question that gets asked quite a bit, you know, how long things take. But uh, it, let's put it this way, it didn't take a million years. <laughs> Chuck and Barbara have found thousands of fossils. Their discoveries are in museums across the country and have led them to be featured on a national TV show. Hey, Chuck. Long time not see. Good seeing you. Yeah. Hey, Barb. I always wanted to keep hunting and collecting because the thrill of discovery, you know, kind of stays with you once you start finding things. There's Spiker. The pair do have some eclectic taste. They use a 1949 Suburban called Spiker to go hunting for fossils. It was my dad's fossil line. And their gallery is entirely powered by solar energy. In fact, they live off the grid. No power lines, no utility bills, and turns out, no stopping them either. That part point doesn't even exist when we're gonna stop collecting fossils. We'll always be doing it, until we can't do it anymore. Uh, I don't really ever get bored in the fossil beds. I mean, that, to me, that's kind of like going home, you know. The hills in western Kansas are changing. As time goes on, the ground continues to erode away. Still, there will be discoveries to be found, and talented people like Chuck Bonner and Barbara Shelton to preserve them. But if you get close, you can see some shark's teeth. See the shark's teeth here? These are just good evidence of uh, how time marches on. I mean, there's been a lot of changes uh, from where humans have been here. Um, and there'll be more changes afterward, too. So. For Positively Kansas, I'm Brian Ramsdale.